Hi family. I saw a video of a doctor talking about CMOS and talking about the fact that um, you could overdose, you know, on CMOS because there is, you might have too much iodine intake <clears throat> and, you know, all this other stuff. But first, let me just tackle this. First of all, CMOS, you're not, you cannot overdose on CMOS. You just cannot. That is not true. Number one, CMOS is not the synthetic iodine that's given in the hospital or given, you know, pharmaceutically. CMOS is actually a, a, a mineral. It's minerals, not even a mineral. It's minerals. CMOS carries all 92 minerals out of the 102 minerals that our bodies are actually made up of. We are depleted of our minerals. We need a mineral flood. So flood your body with CMOS as much as you'd like to take. I personally eat two to three scoops twice a day, but there is not too much CMOS that you, you cannot overdose on CMOS. That's not true. When you're dealing with quote unquote vitamins, um, nine times out of 10, majority of them are synthetic. They have a, a, a percentage of the real thing. And then you have placebo, soot, you know, um, or whatever other chemicals that are included inside of it. But you can't say that a person can overdose on CMOS or that they can intake too much iodine. CMOS is a natural source of iodine. It is not a synthetic or chemical-based source of iodine. That I'm sure you can overdose. Also, CMOS can also be taken on medication. Now, there are people who cannot have CMOS for whatever reason. Some people are allergic to iodine. Um, some people are um, allergic to things, period. You know, even if it is alkaline, some people are allergic to it, so they can't take it. Some people are taking um, medications that um, they can't take certain things, and whoever the CMOS provider is will know to not administer CMOS to a person um, with said disease, with said issue, or, you know, with said medication that they're taking that will counteract. Um, you even have people who are diabetics who can't take the CMOS multivitamin, multimineral in its entirety. There are certain herbs that have to be removed because um, of their condition. There are people who are on blood thinners and so on and so forth that can't take the multivitamin, multimineral. My point is, um, I just want to get this out there because sometimes even um, it doesn't matter what profession you're in, you know, your profession, you are um, knowledgeable about your profession. Sometimes um, even a doctor could be wrong regarding um, alkaline herbs because you just don't know. You know how to be a doctor, you know. Um, so I just wanted to share with people that um, something that just sparked in me um to share with you guys is that you can't overdose on CMOS that's not true anywho have a great day and um go take your CMOS <laughs>